Hello everybody, it's SCD Mad Haven here today, and I'm here to share with you guys that I got my setup completely done. It is uh, the best I can get it, at least. But, you know, I'm, th this is kind of getting thrown out there. Like, if you guys have a request and you want something to see, let me know. Because now that I'm completely ready to go, I'm going to be uploading a lot more than I, I would say the past two weeks because past two weeks I've had a couple of technical issues a lot of things going on outside of you know gaming and my life I've been working a lot more and just yeah you know life hits and whenever life hits life takes priority so also whenever war gaming tends to do stuff and they break stuff then you just kind of go uh, take a break so I did take a break it's a pretty nice break um, other than that, I've been streaming a lot more over on Twitch with this new setup, and it's been fantastic. And I plan on uploading a whole crap ton more over here on YouTube. So, you guys, I already have a couple tanks on the list that people want to see that have been um, messaging me over Discord. So, AMX 12 ton, uh, there's like three others, I'll have to go back and double check what they are, but th there's a couple of them. So, I'm going to have to start building up some silver, get to the tank, grind it out, and then get ready to go do it. So, it's going to be a blast. Other than that, we're on Arctic region. I am still abusing the map rotation. Keep in mind, this is totally planned. I wanted to play the 60 TP in Arctic region, and I'm playing the 60 TP in Arctic region. And if you guys are still using the um, map rotation, or if you took screenshots of that whenever I put it up, uh, just know it fell back one hour. So, rather than 1300 being 12 o'clock Mountain Standard Time, it's now 12 o'clock. Mountain Standard Time for 12:12. So whenever you're looking at it, if it's let's say 11 a.m., it's going to be 1100. If it's uh, 2 p.m., it's going to be 1400. And that's just to give you guys an idea. So Mountain Standard Time, it is now on dot with Mountain Standard Time. Uh, the second, what is it? 12 o'clock at night. One o'clock. Once it's one, it's going to be one. So if it's 12, it's going to be 24. It's really confusing. I gave up trying to look at it and have brain farts. Honestly, I had to swap over um, a clock to be military time to know exactly what to be looking for and which map to end up on. But if you're using military time, it's actually an hour off now. So good job, Wargaming. You screwed with everybody. They do it all the time, though. And they always get us good. Did I just get hit by a VK? Ah, VK. I should be attention. Nope, that's what you get. I play like a Muppet. <clears throat> Muppetry. It, it's the best way to play. Um, yeah, there's not really much to go over. Except for my setup is nice. It's done. I'm ready to start. If you guys have a request, drop it down in the comments. I will try my best to jump over there and say hello. And there's a donation tab, which honestly I haven't looked at in forever, so I don't know. Um, I'm looking to get a new mic. Uh, I want to get one that's not a USB. USB mics are, yeah, they just, their quality is good, but it requires crap ton of settings. But you can make it nice, though. Honestly, I've been using this one for like a year, and I love it. I honestly don't know why I'd ever replace it. It's got emotes. It's got all sorts of stuff, and I don't even show it off. So, yeah, maybe that's why I want to change it. I don't know. But the one I'm looking for, um, no specifics. I have no idea what I want to go for, but it's always nice to have a backup just in case. And other than that, dude, brain farts. They're mad. All right, dude, everyone's launching premium today. Yeah, premium. Tier 10 matchmaking at its finest. It's what you should be expecting, though, whenever you see a T95 E6. See one of those, more than likely, it's nothing but the premiums. And they hurt. And me just not playing right. Yeah, see, not playing right. I'm just completely off. And... Oh, missiles. What's your guys' opinion on Cold War right now? Because honestly, I have heard nothing good about it. It's got the lowest amount of people playing it. No one even plays it. And look, more heat rounds coming flying at us. But yeah, no, no one plays it. The queues are so small, I dropped over. Keep in mind, I have a tank in every single air. And all I did was load up into the queues to take a look. And I think air 3, earlier this morning, I saw 
what, nine people? And then air two, I saw like seven. And keep in mind, it was seven consistent. I actually got stuck playing in my air two for a match. So I played in air two for a match because it instant loaded me in. But there was only seven people in the lobby. And then in air one, air one had like 30 something. And then it would never go past 30. And everyone has an Air 1 tank. And then you come over to World War 2, and I think the highest I saw in World War 2 today... Actually, this is my first match in World War 2 as I was loading in. I can't remember what it was, but it was like in the 160 range. There was a lot of people on. And then... Yeah, no, it's just... I don't know why they're trying to push Cold War. And then all the new premium tanks that they're coming out with for it. And honestly, if they want to kill the game off, push Cold War. They want to make the game better, push World War 2. Honestly, I don't know why they're talking about bringing in the Italian um, heavy tank, the Rossarante. I probably completely bombed that name, but you know which one I'm talking about. We have the Passante, the Tier 8 Premium, that uh, they've been talking about along with the Rossarante, Tier 10 Italian Heavy. But if you add those to the game, there's it's just everyone's waiting for the double-barreled Russian tanks. I would prefer to see a double-barreled Russian tank rather than the Rosarante or any of the others, really, because the hype on those was so huge for the longest time, and they haven't brought them in yet. It just really confuses me to see that. So it's just you have a couple of things that you should be focusing on, but they're not really focusing on it. They want to bring back popularity. I think the best way to bring back popularity would be the double barrel tanks. Plus, honestly, if they charge me 100 bucks to buy the 7032, I would pay 100 bucks to get the 7032. I'm not gonna lie. That thing, I said it forever ago. That's a tank I want to three mark, and I would spend days trying to three mark it. And I'm not kidding, I would spend days trying to three mark that thing. So, yeah, I would go nuts, dude. They bring in the double barrels, I would be the one. I, I would be like, Fry, <laughs> take my money. And I'd just throw it at him by that point. Because, dude, it would be a blast to have those in the game. And Tank Destroyer coming up behind. We finally get into a good little rhythm. And most of our team's dead. So, yeah, that sounds about right. Thank you. Ooh, good bounce. At least it didn't bounce into my rear. That would have sucked a lot. Ah. Yes, E75. Fantastic mobility. Fantastic armor. Honestly, dude, if you guys haven't played the E75, it's such a good all-rounder. So hard to beat. And straight through the turret because of premium. Alright, 670. I'm just going to start backing up and help him out. But I doubt I'm going to be able to. Oh, no. Go back faster. No, 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 no. Oh, snap. He's coming right after me. Oh, snap. Oh snap! Okay, QL, we got this. It's two versus seven. We got this. We're gonna. I'm, I'm watching. I'm gonna get shot in the rear. Oh, there it is. It's coming. I feel it. It's gonna hurt. Oh snap! Dude, this is talk about being uncomfortable. E75 should be pushing, but he's not pushing. Oh, why? This is like a horror movie for me right now. I think I just watched around him flying behind me. Nope, they're gonna get me. No, he shot the floor. What? Hello, artillery. It's nice to know that you still exist. And, dude, honestly, if they want to bring back popularity to the game and get it back up in rhythm, debuff artillery. Whenever you look at console version of artillery compared to PC version of artillery, PC, they're, they're nerfing them to oblivion. Like, full on, out the window, gone. Honestly, this wasn't that bad of a match inside my tier 10. I made, what was that, 16,000? Isn't there some sort of bonus going on? It's Monday. Yeah, it's Monday. There should be a bonus. And 2,800 damage is quite the decent amount. Tier 10 silver, yeah, I made 16,000. And I, I, I didn't shoot a whole lot of premiums. Ooh, Terrapan, personal offer. That's actually pretty cool to see, but I'm not going to buy it. Um, yeah, dude, that tells you guys how much I've been playing. I got my personal offer on the last day before the reset. So I've slowed down a lot. 
because I've been getting irritated by artillery. I've been getting irritated by the just horrible balancing so far. Matchmaking's been one-sided a lot of the times. You've been running into groups of three artillery because they know what maps they're going to be on. You know, so it's all like, oh, I'm going to be on Prokhorovka. I want to pull out three artilleries. Or I'm going to be on Melanovka. I want to get three artilleries. I'm going to end up on Himmelsdorf. I want to get three artilleries. It's Himmelsdorf. Why would you want to do that? But it's just been hard. And honestly, I feel like it's time to jump back in. You know, whenever you take a break, it's always good to take a break because it gives you a chance to, to breathe, to get time and just get you back into the groove. And honestly, I needed it. I needed to get back into the groove because the longer I don't do it, the harder it's going to be for me to do it later. So I'm back. Let me know what you guys want to see. <laughs> Seriously. I want to give this setup a try. I'm getting ready to get my editing software and everything else. I've upgraded my computer. I've upgraded everything. I'm ready to go. And yeah, I really don't know what else to say except for you guys are absolutely amazing. And thank you for supporting me thus far, you know, before uh, missiles get added to Cold War and before a ton of other stuff gets added. And hopefully they just bring the double barrel tanks. I just want to see double barrel tanks. I've been talking about those for like the past year. I would love to see them. Oh, and then mercenary contracts. Um, I I don't remember what it was, but there was a, an earn the needle, the tier four. Why are they giving away tier fours? That's like giving away a tier two by this point, because they took away tier ones. They took away tier twos. Tier three is the starting tier, which honestly kind of sucks. T1 Cunninghams were amazing. And yeah, I just I don't know what to go over anymore. Because they're doing some weird stuff and it's just being a pain. But you now, positive looks, stay positive. Other than that, dude, nice having you guys here. I'll see you on the battlefield. Um, I'm going to have to start making some silver. A lot of it. It's going to be kind of rough because I have a feeling that you guys are going to slap me with a ton of stuff. Other than that, dude, you guys take it easy. See you on the battlefield.